Airlines are struggling to find new pilots, and starting next year, they expect to have a shortage of more than 12,000 of them. Now, United Airlines says it has a solution. CBS 2's Errol Barnett explains. Lifting off at dawn in the Sonoran Desert means catching this special morning view in the Valley of the Sun. It felt like a joyride. <laughs> uh, I love it. I love flying. Mother of two, Ricky Foster is at the helm, learning the ropes with her flight instructor. A former flight attendant, she has been inspired to upgrade her wings. Show me an excuse and I'll show you how you can overcome that, you know? Foster is one of 59 students in the inaugural classes of United Airlines Aviate Academy in Goodyear, Arizona. CEO Scott Kirby says this is their effort to combat the persistent staffing shortage on the flight deck. We've got over 100 regional aircraft that effectively aren't flying because there's not enough pilots to fly them. By FAA regulation, pilots have to retire at age 65. And by one estimate, almost half of them will within 15 years. Couple that with the pandemic, which slowed the rate of new pilots taking to the skies, and it's almost impossible to keep pace with all the open seats. One of the biggest sources for airlines was the military. The problem today is there not that many pilots in the military? There are a lot of drone pilots. So that doesn't really help in terms of being able to bring people in. United expects 50% of its pilots to come from this program, and half of those will be women and people of color. For Foster, who was originally from Jamaica, this journey is also about how her 17-year-old son and 6-year-old daughter see her. They got to come in and check out the airplane, and I have a picture of my son sitting by my name. He was so proud in the picture, like, this is my mom, you know. Like, <laughs> Future flyers bringing it home for the family. Errol Barnett, CBS News, Goodyear, Arizona. She's ready to soar, <laughs> ready to go. Really?